Kylie, $600 million for the business. What was your reaction when you heard that number? Well, for half of the business, yes. so it's worth double that. Yeah. So, <laughs> just to fact check you guys. We have some mind-blowing news that's going to make your jaw hit the floor. We're diving deep into the world of pop culture drama, and boy, do we have a juicy scoop for you. We're about to spill the tea on Kanye West's shocking revelation about Britney's conservatorship and the real reason behind the Kardashians' animosity towards her. Now, we all know Kanye is never one to shy away from speaking his mind, but what he recently dropped about Britney's conservatorship is absolutely mind-boggling. It's a truth bomb that has sent shockwaves through Hollywood. You won't believe what he's revealed. But hold up, that's not all we're digging into today. We're also unraveling the tangled web of the Kardashians' alleged beef with Britney Spears. Why do they dislike her so much? What's the real deal behind their apparent feud? We know you're itching for the truth, so let's dive right in and spill the tea. Kanye West has always been vocal about the wrongdoings he believes the Kardashians have committed, and this time he's shining a light on their treatment of Britney Spears. When I asked them, how much lithium did you want to put me on exactly, it took them four days to answer because they were embarrassed about the amount, right? And I refused to take this, right? You understand that if I had taken the medication, I would not be here and it would have been, woe is, he was deeply troubled, we miss him, we love his music though. Well, they would have Britney Spears too. But it's not just Kanye who's calling them out. Fans everywhere are pointing fingers at the Kardashians, accusing them of harboring a deep-seated resentment towards Britney. In fact, a popular Reddit thread has been buzzing with discussions about the Kardashians' long-standing dislike for Britney, from allegedly using Britney's fame to still working with Lou Taylor. There's a lot of evidence to suggest that the Kardashians have never been fans of Britney. One fan even highlighted a recent incident involving Kim Kardashian that left many questioning her intentions. While watching one of the documentaries about Britney's struggles with fame and her family, Kim took to social media to express her sadness. But instead of focusing on Britney, some fans felt that Kim made it all about herself. The conversation quickly shifted and Kim started relating it to her own experiences, drawing attention away from Britney's ordeal. And you know what? It also turns out that Kim and her friend Jonathan Chebin once staged a fake hangout session with Britney back when they were not as famous. Their motive? To manipulate the paparazzi and grab some headlines. Can you believe it? According to Jonathan, they noticed a swarm of paparazzi outside a hotel in New York where Britney was staying. In a calculated move, they arrived in a flashy Rolls Royce and pretended to be meeting someone at the hotel. They even hid inside a phone booth in the lobby for about 10 minutes just to make the paparazzi believe they were visiting Britney. Talk about a desperate act to clout chase. It seems the Kardashians have a history of competing against and possibly even stealing from Britney Spears. Back in the day when Britney announced her gender neutral perfume prerogative, Kim Kardashian conveniently followed suit just two weeks later. Coincidence or copycat move? Fans weren't having it and accused Kim of ripping off Britney's idea. But that's just the tip of the iceberg. Brace yourselves because things are about to get even more serious. Speculation is running wild among fans, suggesting that the Kardashians may have stolen a staggering $600 million from Britney. Yes, you heard that right. That's no chump change. According to an inside source, Kanye West is in the know about this alleged scandal, and he spilled the beans to someone close. While Kanye himself hasn't gone public with the details, a Twitter thread aptly titled hashtag justice for Britney has been sharing evidence to support these shocking accusations against the Kardashians. One tweet from the thread caught our attention, asking the burning question, did the Kardashians steal $600 million from Britney Spears? This sparked a heated discussion about the potential involvement of the Kardashians in this elaborate scheme. The thread delved into the intricate web of money movements and shared a compelling link between the Kardashians and Britney. According to the thread, there's an intriguing coincidence that can't be ignored. An article surfaced earlier this year, revealing that Kim Kardashian suddenly became $600 million richer. Sound familiar? The same amount that was allegedly stolen from Britney. Coincidence or something more sinister? 
But that's not all. The thread dropped another bombshell. It highlighted the connection between Kim's trust and Britney's notorious conservator, Lou Taylor. Based on divorce documents between Kim and Kanye, it's revealed that Lou Taylor is in control of Kim's trust. Could this be a logical hiding place for the alleged stolen millions? Now here's where it takes an intriguing turn, as the same Twitter thread points out another compelling theory. It suggests that during that same period, Kylie Jenner sold half of her company for a staggering $600 million. Now, if you're following this intricate web of conspiracy, it implies that the money could have potentially flowed from Britney's trust to Stonebridge, then to Panama and back into the US, finally finding its way through Kim's trust to end up with Kylie Jenner. But why in the heck does the exact $600 million valuation keep popping up? The plot thickens. Now, let's unravel the complex relationship between Lou Taylor and the Kardashians, a relationship that has stirred controversy among fans. Shockingly, Kim Kardashian and Kendall Jenner are believed to still be working with Lou Taylor, despite Britney Spears' damning allegations against her. Lou's involvement with the Kardashian empire runs deep, as she's said to have managed most of their financial affairs. In fact, documents obtained by Page Six reveal Lou's significant role as an agent for service of process, handling various legal matters for the Kardashians, including extended family members like Travis Scott. From Kim's KKW Fragrance LLC to Kim's A Princess Incorporated, Kylie's Cosmetics Giant King Kylie LLC, Kendall Jenner's Eponymous Corporation, Kris Jenner's non-profit Kardashian Jenner Family Foundation, Incorporated, and even Travis Scott's Cactus Jack Enterprises, LLC. Lou Taylor had her hands in it all. She was the one responsible for managing their deals and making business moves on their behalf. But here's where things take a dark turn. Lou Taylor finds herself at the center of Britney Spears' allegations regarding her conservatorship. Britney claimed that Lou, along with her father, played a pivotal role in wrongfully imposing the conservatorship on her. Not only that, but Britney also accused Lou of mistreating and mishandling her affairs for years. When reports about Britney's mistreatment under the conservatorship surfaced, Lou resigned as her manager. Suspicious, isn't it? According to Britney, Lou is one of the most dangerous and manipulative individuals in her life. She even alleges that Lou tried to kill her. Britney describes being forced to work on Lou's terms, enduring illegal and abusive treatment. My therapist sat me down in a room and said he had a million phone calls about how I was not cooperating in rehearsals and I haven't been taking my medication. All of this was a false. He, uh, he am One intriguing incident caught everyone's attention when Britney Spears deleted her Instagram post threatening legal action against TriStar Entertainment, Lou Taylor's company. This action raised concerns among fans, leaving them wondering if Britney made that decision willingly or if she was coerced into it. It all adds to the growing unease surrounding Lou Taylor's influence, with all these allegations from Britney leading Lou Taylor to resign as her manager, which in itself speaks volumes to whether or not the rumors are true or not. It makes you wonder why the Kardashians are even willing to work with someone with such a shady reputation unless there's some mutual benefit for each party. But let's not forget about Kanye West, who had his own worries regarding Lou Taylor and her ties to the Kardashians. Rumors swirled that Taylor and the Kardashians were allegedly plotting to subject Kanye to a conservatorship, similar to what Britney had endured. According to insider sources, Kanye expressed genuine concerns about being wrongfully placed under conservatorship and he believed it was connected to the relationship between the Kardashians and Lou Taylor. He was worried that they were conspiring to shake him down and take his wealth. Now, here's where we want to hear from you. What are your thoughts on this crazy drama? Could Kanye's concerns be valid and should he still be worried? Was there a real threat of him being placed under conservatorship? Share your opinions and insights in the comment section below. And before you go, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more updates on all your favorite celebrities. Thanks for tuning in and I'll catch you guys in the next video.